Hi, hello everyone. This is Chakit from VAC Global Education. In this video, we are going to discuss about what are the green list programs, how they can benefit you, and if you do not fall into the green list, then what are your options? So watch this video till the end so that you get the complete information. Also, if you guys are planning to uh, apply for New Zealand study visa in the coming intakes, then do not forget to subscribe to this channel because here you are going to get a lot of information about New Zealand study visa as well as the recent updates, funds, each and everything we are going to discuss on different different videos. So if you will subscribe, you will be in the benefit. So now first thing first, what is green list? So green list is the list of occupation which are highly in demand in New Zealand at the moment. If I talk about the different programs, these are a combination of uh, art streams. These are a combination from the engineering as well as the medical. So if I talk about the com uh, if I talk about the BA program, which is a bachelor's of arts, if you are from this background plus you have done a bachelor's of education, which is BA, then you can go to early childhood education. That is the first preference or masters of education so if you have done ba plus ba then masters of education or early childhood would be your best bet if you are from say uh, b tech mechanical you can go as an automotive electrician or an automotive mechanic that is again a, a program which is in the green list so green list is all the program which are in demand in New Zealand at the moment. So all the occupation which are in demand, they are called as the green list. So I'm going to put down a link in the description through which you guys can see what all uh, job descriptions are there in the green list, which you can avail and related codes we can suggest you. So for example, construction project management is one course which is highly in demand. I've done a separate video for that. You can check that one out that shows uh, what all programs are available for construction project management which are highly in demand so that's how the green list works so basically if your profession falls in the green list then your chances of getting the residencies is very very high that means you would be able to get your residency without any trouble now what if your job is not mentioned in the green list then what are your chances so basically New Zealand have just introduced a six point PR system in which if you have done any bachelor's degree or any master's degree, then you would be eligible to claim five points out of the six points. So that is a huge, huge advantage. Now post your master's, if you have got one year of work experience in the skilled category, then you will be eligible to apply for your PR. Now, what is that skilled category? So any job which is paying you at least 1.5 times higher the minimum salary in New Zealand, that would be considered as the skilled job. So for example, if the minimum wage in New Zealand is $22.70, if your job is 1.5 times of $22.7 an hour, after your masters then it will be considered as a skilled job so that is how you would be able to claim your points under the skilled migrant category and you will be applying for your pr in the future after completing one year of onshore work visa work visa now the work visa which you are going to get will be for three years so after your masters, you will have three years to get one year of uh, skilled visa and then you can apply for your PR without any trouble. Now, there are different different courses for different different backgrounds. So obviously you would need help uh, in shortlisting the best program as per your profile. So for that, all you need to do is there is a link given in the description through which you guys can connect with us. Uh, we can schedule a call to understand your profile. We will give you the best possible options as per your profile and accordingly we will proceed. The, the only two things which are very very crucial for you to uh, understand is that the funding for New Zealand has to be 3 to 6 months old for in case of university 3 months funds holds are required and for university uh, six, so for university 
three months old funds are required and for colleges and government for technique i would recommend that if you would have six months old funds you will have higher chances of getting the visa so these are the things what you need to take care of for this uh, second most important thing is police clearance certificate which takes uh, one one and a half months to get from the passport office because that is the only document which you require or uh, which will take time so you would have to plan everything in a sync so that you would not miss uh, february 24 intake because that is the major intake which is coming up right now so you would have to be very very careful about each and every step what you are taking throughout the process so that you don't miss out on the opportunity of studying in new zealand before it also get crowded like canada canada invited uh, millions of people in last three years and that's why there are so many trouble going on there new zealand has limited population and big opportunities for the people who will enter the country before it get too late so if you are planning to go for february 24 intake now is the time when you should be taking this step and applying to the university there is no application fees for any university you just need to make sure that you have the current correct documentation your academic documentation your work experience documentation and later on your funds your sponsorship your medical pcc your sop everything has to be aligned in a manner that the immigration will not think twice and grant you the visa so if you are looking that level of service from a, a person who has lived in new zealand for more than seven years then now is the time where you can act upon this i have been an international student myself lived and worked and had a business in New Zealand and then moved to India and started this organization. So I have hands-on experience of guiding you from the student point of view as well as from a immigration consultant point of view as well as well as the counselor point of view as well. And I've been doing this from last eight years. So if you are looking for the guidance from a person who can guide you with the entire process, then all you need to do is there's a link given in the description click that link get in touch with us via whatsapp answer a few questions and off you go we will contact you our counselors will be in touch with you and we can schedule a call understand your profile and give you the best possible options so i hope this uh, information was helpful for you if you have any question write it in the comment section or just simply get in touch with us looking forward for your messages and if you have not subscribed yet then do subscribe and we shall see you in our next video. Till then you guys take care of yourself. Bye-bye.